Well, good morning, everyone. My voice is a little funny today, but here we go with some streaming. We're going to just do my normal morning routine today because though I feel a little bit better, I don't feel that much better today. And yeah, let's see how this goes. We're just going to take it easy today. I'm going to definitely play some Animal Crossing and then see how I feel in a little bit. Good morning, Isabel. Hello, Miss Lady. How are you today? Honestly, I always look forward to her good morning messages. It is currently 10.57. My doge woke me up at 8.30 this morning, which I know is a little late for some, but in all honesty, it was kind of, you know, early for me seeing how I've lost all taste. I'm still waiting on my, my results. I've lost all taste, so my genius brain drank an energy drink pretty close to 10 p.m. And that, that might not have been wise. <laughs> but let's see how it goes. I got six hours of sleep. I'm ready to go. <laughs> it is Sunday, January 23rd. Oh, Daisy May. You know, I need to make it a point to buy turnips from her. I've heard and I've seen that you get recipes from her when you buy turnips from her instead of getting those bamboo shoots, which is pretty cool. We have about an hour to go. So let's see here. Yes, thank you, Isabel. We will have fun out here today because why not? <laughs> And before we get too far, let me just make sure I let my Twitter friends know. Now, if you ever want to see when I'm going live, other than the random sporadicness, definitely I would say follow my Twitter. Now, my Twitter, it's not that it's not family friendly, it's just, it's just how I am, who I am. So... <laughs> It, it's all over the place. I've had it for quite a while. So like all, many have grown in the past 10 years and uh, so have I, but yeah. So let's see here. So that's been tweeted. There might be a little bit of latency issue but we'll definitely get this worked out today. Good morning, Master Asian. Thank you for joining the stream today. I appreciate seeing, well, not seeing, but reading your name. <laughs> Let's see here. What's some advice Mr. Nook's giving us? During the season, try catching snowflakes with a nut. And that went way too fast for me to read. <laughs> but let's see here. Oh, it is morning. I feel like I need to change my clothes. I wore this the other day, and I feel like I'm always wearing this outfit. So let's see, let's start the day by changing our clothes. And while we're at it, we might just do a little house tour, because why not? <laughs> As you see, we'll start with the main entrance room because this is the chill room that all my villagers like to intrude on because villagers don't kindly call you ahead of time <laughs> before visiting. But when it's a small island, who else is gonna come out your door? Red? I doubt Red's gonna just bust in and be like, hey, give me your real art because I'm selling nothing but fake art on your island. So let's see here. So this is my entry room. I got the lovely plaques here and my little happy home designer. Let me know. 
if anyone ever wants to watch me do that, I kind of go in too deep when it comes to designing everyone's little dream houses. I think I sometimes miss the assignment and I'm just like, nah, this is what suits how the way you look and the way you seem to present yourself. Uh, but, you know, I feel like creativity is all that matters in that game. They don't really score you like other happy home designer games, <clears throat> pocket camp. Yeah. But anyways, I love this room just because it's kind of chill. I wish I could have a living room like this. It is a little barren looking, but trust me, I, it, I would still find a way to trip over something, you know. But this is the grand entry room. I personally like to start from the left first as we go into this next room. And it loads on my island. This is the over the, you know, depending on your state, 18 or 21 plus room. This is where you just chill. Of course, you have the nice window. You got Wardle up there. You have your gyroids and your glowing moss under black light shelf. My cup of coffee, which I am drinking right now. Because though it tastes like watery, with cream. I still want the caffeine. <laughs> well, let's see here. And of course, we're watching the news. It looks like there was a grand opening at some place where all the other humans are. And it's snowing where all the other humans are. But yeah, let's get out of here. While the illness has gotten me, or we think it has, we, uh, I do not partake in the glowing moss, but this is my restroom because I don't know where everyone else puts their bathrooms, but I always put mine to the north because it just feels right. And as you see here, this is more like one of those all-in-one encompassing places because I don't know about you, but sometimes if you like, I understand Everyone wants their privacy if you got to use the restroom, you know? That makes sense. But I, for some reason, am one of those that I like to have everyone be able to relax. If you're going to take a bath, right, you're not just going to go in the bath and sit there. You might want to watch some TV or you might want to listen to some music, right? Like, I always feel like we're always risking our electronics <laughs> to die in the bath. But anyways... Let's change our clothes while we're here. Yes, I would like to change my clothes, please. Now, I have a lot of doubles, and it is what it is. Gasp. She's in undergarments. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Let's see, she's so immodest. Let's go ahead and get her some pants. Let's see here. I'm actually going to... Dress her a little warm, but not, I don't know. I just dress her the way I would if these existed in my wardrobe, uh, to be quite honest with you. Like, I think these are really cool outfits, just if done right. I really love this shirt, the fired up kanji tee with the rainbow. I feel like if that could be... A real t-shirt but not with that poor quality foil that would be really cool as a shirt because it just gives off poor quality foil vibes but at the same time it looks high quality because of look how that light just changes <laughs> I can literally sit here and appreciate every single detail in the game you guys it's just I don't know I'm appreciative of all the work people put into things like this into games and I don't know. It's just all the creativity. I feel like every stream, I will state something like that just because I really value the work and effort that goes into this. Now, let's see here. She's going to put on some leggings because it looks like she ain't got nothing under there. What head do I want to wear? Head? <laughs> what hat do I want to wear? 
Let's look a little more feminine today with a black bow because that's what it is. Let's see here. Are we wearing glasses today? I should probably wear a mask because, you know, the illness. I don't want my villagers getting ill too. And there's my little black leggings, my everyday tights. Yeah, I got a lot of my everyday tights because uh, my wand <laughs> takes a lot of it from me. There's like no music in the background because that's just how this works in the silly dressing rooms. Imagine if it was like when you go to <laughs> your favorite retail store, you know, back in the day when you could try on things in the retail store. I'm not sure if they still do that, to be quite honest with you. I've, I've stayed away from the outside for the most part. Let's, let's wear Converse in the snow because we all know how not dangerous that is. <laughs> and in case you're not from somewhere or someone that's been in snow, I can tell you right now, it, it's dangerous to wear Converse in snow because the snow, one, is water. <laughs> Two, water is slippery when your shoes are not non-slip. And it's a lot of fun. <laughs> now, honestly, just don't, don't wear Converse in the snow. Your feet are going to get wet so fast through that canvas. And yeah, I, I've bruised my ribs before slipping in hard, compact snow. That was fun. Well, let's see here. This year, this is my pride and joy of all rooms. This is my dream streaming room. Glittery effects included, okay? <laughs> Let's see here. So in my little dream streaming room, we got here a clock because I need to know the times. I, I am honestly oblivious to time. Time is, I don't know, a concept I'm still grasping. And let's see here, my manga wall. I wish I could have a wall just built like that. I'm pretty sure one day when my husband and I own our own house, we would totally build a manga wall. He would build those build-in bookshelves. I, I know him. But yeah, and here we go. You know, got to keep that window closed. But right now we have it open. Get some natural sunlight in here. I love the Able Sisters and Mr. KK. We got me a base right here. Because it was adorable. <gasps> uh oh, I clicked on KK's photo. Well, let's see what KK tells me. There's a message written on here. He is a Virgo. Little, a little bit of uh, trivia here. It's not trivia, just a little bit of information here. I am also a Virgo, which may explain why I just absolutely need to structure things and sometimes things like this the non-structured are a little challenging, but this is something I do for fun. So let's see here. Nothing shredded, nothing gained. You know, I could understand that because let's see here. He plays guitar. Let's be real here. If anyone that's played an instrument, you know, you know, especially with stringed instruments, your fingers, they hurt. They hurt for quite a while um, until you get used to practicing and until you build those calluses from practice. But for a while, your fingers are going to feel shredded. <laughs> I'll be real honest with you. I play violin and I've tinkled, you know, tinkered with piano, not piano, with a uh, guitar. And yeah, no, it's, it's a fun instrument to play. But it's not something, I have small hands as a violinist, so yeah, it's just, it's just hard. It's too big. I probably need like a child size or a travel size guitar to play. But here we came to my small little flat. And I feel like I don't have anything on music wise. Am I just without sound today? There are no music playing in my room. Because I feel like I should hear the TV. Yeah, sounds like I've lost my sound. 
Ooh. Well, let's see here. I don't know where it went. Oh. Well, technical difficulties are a part of streaming. Let's see if I can get my hubby to figure out what's going on here. Capture card's not reading any sound. So, please hold while we have some technical difficulties. I don't know how to pause the stream. So, we'll just, you know, sit here and watch some TV for a second. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> We should be able to hear a sound from here. I don't even hear it in my headphones, and I know I was able to hear it for a second. But you know what? You know what I don't have is the capture device saying that it has sounds. Let's see here. Audio properties. It says it's all active. When we look at my husband, do you hear any sounds on the... Do you hear any sounds on the stream? No, no music. Okay, so let's see here. Boo. So, if you guys hear an echo, it's just the hubby seeing what's going on here. Capture card. He's dropping everything, but it happens. Let's see. All because I turned up something. Audio input. Audio input, that's me. You guys, I'm so new to this OBS. Then it's probably my streaming is too delayed. Let's see here, wave out. Yay. I hear sounds, do you guys hear sounds? Nothing? Okay. Well, I may have to end stream early if I'm having difficulties like this. Just because it may be... Oh, we got it? We got sounds? Copy. Oh no, I just lost... Oh, no, there we go. Alright, thank you. Let's see here. And I might, if there's too much latency, you guys, please let me know. Is it just the way I'm speaking that's very robotic? Or is it actually coming in very digitized? Which one? You're just nodding? It's digitized? Uh, so there's nothing I can really do with that. Um, I did turn up my mic volume, so that could be... How about here? <laughs> troubleshooting! <laughs> One, two, three, troubleshooting! I need to learn how to make these, uh... cutscenes, or, you know, the please hold scenes. <laughs> it's still robotic. Oh, I understand. I'm just asking because I changed it before I said that.
there was a moment of silence there, just so we can cue if I'm still robotic or not. Still a bit robotic. I know sometimes it happens early in stream. I'm still robotic. Okay. <sighs> well, let's see here. I'm not really sure how to fix that, other than it's just my speeds, because everything else is fine on my side. So, I may have to stop streaming you guys since I do have other people in the household that are streaming items like videos or gaming, so unfortunately I may have to stop stream, but at least we tried. <laughs> I wanted to give a house tour, or we can try to just push through because I know some of my streams when we've tested it out, the audio quality clears up a little bit after the first couple ten minutes. And it's only been... Well, it's been 20 minutes. So I wonder how long I've been robotic for. Well, if no one minds, I might just continue being robotic for a second, and we'll continue this and see if anything changes. Ooh, I just got a text message! Let's see here. So, both my hubby and I just got our results. <laughs> this is the grand reveal, you guys. That makes no sense, because I lost taste. Who, wait, who is that one for? Is that mine or my husband's? I feel like we need to get retested. We need to get retested, because there's no way. Yeah, there's no way if I lost taste, they're both negative. The downside of being vaccinated, <laughs> you guys. Your tests just all come back all funky. But yeah, who knows? That one was yours. Let's see here. So yeah, but this is my bedroom. I finally got pokies picture or political pet kill yeah we'll read it we'll see if i can click on it trying to figure out the robotic issue. But what I'll do is just continue stream as we go on. <laughs> this is one of my favorite little gyroids, you guys. This little crinkly face guy. He I feel bad for him, honestly, because his face is all crinkled. But, yeah. So let's see here. What does this say? This is a photo pic. Koi. Huh? There's something written on the letters in the back of the photo. 
Um, she is my moon sign. She is a Taurus. Favorite saying is, let bygones be bygones. In all seriousness, that's, that's how I feel. <laughs> Sometimes it's just, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth caring enough, wasting the energy. Just let them be. But yeah, so this downstairs part, as you see, I have my bed. I have a little kitchenette here because I don't know any flat that doesn't have that. Now, of course, this is like my low key bathroom area, but I still need a toilet. So, yeah, eventually I'll get one. I have, as controversial as I feel like they are, I tend to go to Treasure Islands. But I know that's not like ideal, but I do enjoy Treasure Islands when I'm not necessarily able to play as often sometimes. Like I play a lot, but some of the things I feel like my stuff repeats. Oh, so this here's my attic. Um, yeah, <laughs> attic-y things, definitely attic-y things. Don't mind the floor, you know, the prior tenants. I I'm not sure what happened to them. I tend to avoid this room. Let's go ahead and turn off the light for that. <laughs> and let's see here. I have some extra artwork I have on the wall because red gives me all the things. And let's go. You know, close Discord, see what happens. There we go. So yes, that was my house. And I put this little guy there. He's so cute. He's from the last stream. I dug him up. Go check the mail. <gasps> I forgot. Happy Home Academy was today. Dang. I, I would have I would have spent more time decorating. Well, let's see what they say. About I Chan's home. Points 158,640. Oops, I already messed up. <laughs> 1,500. No, 1,058,000. What? <laughs> I can't say numbers, you guys. 158,624 points. There we go. I got it. <laughs> S rank. So let's see here. Happy home design help. Here's a good trick. Try displaying furniture that's all the same color. Your home will look lovely and so well put together. Yo, I, I don't care for that. But it's okay. Should we visit, or actually, let's go find Daisy May. It's 11.25 in game. And I need to go find her. Where would she be, though? That's the question. Well, I found her. Let's go say good morning. Thank you, sweetness, for blessing my flowers with water. Ni hao, Ai-chan. How are you? Psst, psst. <laughs> So, yes, I made Pekoi say hello in Chinese to me because, you know, I know how to say that. <laughs> um, and the psh, psh, yeah, if, if you know the sound of a, a turbo, psh, psh. <laughs> I like cars, you guys. I like fast cars. I like loud cars, but they have to sound right. They can't just be loud. I hate I, I strongly just like loud cars that are just loud to be loud. They gotta sound good. <laughs> oh no. I'm about midway through Polo Shirt Collar Poppers. It's such a great book. No, that just gave me flashbacks to like 2007. No, no more popping of the collars, please. Good morning, Mr. Static. Where are you going with your grocery bag? Hey, Tulip, you're a sight for sore eyes. Yes, yes, I know. 
How much walking have you done on this island so far? Must be close to setting a record, but like, <laughs> I don't know, Audie said she wanted to walk all the way to the moon and back, because that's how much she thinks it is. Well, let's see here. We're still on the search for Miss Daisy May, you guys. I swear she's going to be on the part of the island that I have. Oh, oh, I see her. Through the tree. Um, Mr. Cube? Mr. Cube, there's a bench in your way? You, you realize you can chase it because there was a bench in your way, right, Cube? Okay, well, I'll say good morning to you, sir. <laughs> yes, I am out for a walk, getting that digital fresh air, my dude. Sugar cone is the perfect size. It is not too big to see across, but too small. Oh, sea monsters. <laughs> They want the sea monster attacking us. Well, it seems that my hubby may have troubleshooted it. Is it possible? Or he may still be figuring it out. I'll give him time because good work is done over time, not rushed. That's something definitely a lot of people need to learn in life, is that if you want something done right, it may not be done quickly. Because even a master technician takes time in getting things done correctly if they're being safe about it. Well, let's see here. Good morning, Daisy May. You're here to start off your Sunday with some fresh turnips? Yes, ma'am. They're only 91 bells right now. I don't really have other people that would purchase this right now. A lot of us have maxed out our accounts. But let's see here. I would like to buy some this day. You know what, ma'am? We will buy, let's buy 50. Because that's nice. <laughs> Yeah, I'll buy them. Maybe I can give some to my, some of my villagers, because I'm nice like that. <clears throat> turn up, turn up, watch them rise. Try to earn a nice surprise. That's how I think that song goes. I would love to hear other people's renditions of that song, because that would be great. the 23rd we got six days six days until cube's birthday you can't miss cube's birthday you guys all right let's check out my campsite i don't know if i've shown you guys this yet but i have my gnomes camping out here you know just chilling vibing nice little fire and in case anyone wants to like not be up on the hill. <laughs> we can come down here. Point out the telescope, you know, do the things. And then of course the honored guest must have this beautiful loft here with a resident gnome. And of course if they want to fish you know, while watching some TV, they can. Not like there's much over here to fish for, but, you know, I've noticed these villagers, they'll literally fish in the smallest of little pieces. Oh, um, so I only got five. And I need to buy more if I want to give them to my people. Oh, well. <gasps> it's a gyroid. I found a gyroid fragment. So, I don't know if this is a thing that others have noticed, but gyroid fragments show up on your beach. And I'm not sure if it's because I have no place for them to spawn, maybe? Or if it's because I didn't go to Kappa's Island the other day. I'm not sure where they come from. And I'm starting to feel like they're like the new bottles of Animal Crossing. There's a break every 15. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, even the audio breaks in my headset every few seconds. Ooh, you guys, this, this is the thing I put together last night. Because I didn't know what to do with all my gyroids. So this shall be the field of gyroids. It's a little scary to me. Go say hi to. Oh, I already said hi to Hugh. I need to move his house. I just don't know where. Oh, yeah. I'll probably move it over by the gyroids and make them all play on that playground that I want to make him. The question is if I already have everything for it, or if I may have to like slowly order everything. Since I've been to those islands enough, I have a lot of items available to buy now. A lot of them I ended up keeping or gifting to my islanders here. And this, this just massive empty lot here. I really need to figure out what to do here. Because though it may be easiest and quite simple actually for me to just place my stores right here, I feel like if I do that, then I may be low-key obligated to make this section a lot better. Which isn't bad. It's it's a challenge I'm willing to take. Miss Poke, you gotta wait a second for the balloon. I got a snowflake wreath that I already know how to make. That's okay. Yes, sweetie. Ooh, you want to give me an after-school jacket? Thank you, sweetie. I love your little kid's shirt. Oh, she bought two. You know, that happens. I, I, If I didn't go shopping with other people, I would always accidentally buy two of something I already have. And that's why online shopping is a great thing. Because it will tell you, last purchased, and then you know. You know if you've already pr purchased it before. Well, let's see here. Let's see how this looks for me. We'll go here and here. Let's wear this. Uh, you know, I, I'm not fond of the colored ones, to be quite honest with you. I am a little bit of a traditionalist when it comes to some of my after-school clothing. But that's just how I am. That's probably the Virgo in me, in all honesty. Well, let's see here. Does anyone ever notice this is just like a jam listening to the Able Sister song? <laughs> there we go, we'll fill it. Oh, come on, Mabel. We can dance more. Well, let's go say hi to your sister real quick. She's the oldest. We gotta say hi first. It makes me so happy that you'd come all this way to see us, even on a Sunday. You want to know why? Why, Miss Sable? Why? Oh, because talking with you while I'm working is the best part of my day. You know, Sable, you say that, you say that, but if this was real life, you would not appreciate it. <laughs> I am the queen of distracting others unintentionally. But then again, I, I'm good at also keeping people on task. I just, I'm just talkative though. Talkative in weird ways. Not in weird ways, I'm just talkative. Because I can literally talk about the sun if I wanted to. Now let's see here. Does anything look good today? No, I don't like that. <gasps> it's a little cute. I kind of like this teal sweater thing. It's not my like 
style, but it's cute. Let's see here, maybe I should change my pants. <gasps> Ew, they have faux fur skirts. And I say eel because even though they're faux, you know, I just, I just don't like the idea of fur anything. So yeah, let's see here. Okay, so it looks like the verdict is. Citrix. A little more beefy. So... Oh, I bet you? So the verdict sounds like my system, my computer system that I have right now, which I use for work. You know, it's my little laptop that I used for school, and then I use it for work currently. It just seems like it's just not beefy enough to handle streaming at this time. Now, that's really unfortunate because it's just what it is. So for now, there may be a few audio or latency issues at this time, but over time we'll obviously get that fixed so i really appreciate with you guys bearing with me but the hubby was able to balance out everything else for now at least my audio isn't as bad and yeah the hard work this is this is all about overtimeness right So thank you, hun. I appreciate your efforts in figuring out what's going on. So let's see here. Maybe there's a toilet today at Nook's Cranny. <laughs> Live chat is what you'd want to view. It's just you. No one else has commented. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Timmy and Tommy. Running Chrome's gonna just lag it more on my thing. I have my creator studio. So 
so hubby's getting a crash course on how this works today which is perfectly fine he's he's really good at learning things on the fly but i think that comes out of experience not out of want to be quite honest with y'all oh no <gasps> Is today Sunday? Oh, to go. oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, did I forget? Okay, good, I did. Sorry, you guys. I am one of those people that needs to take the medicines in the morning. And I totally spaced on that. Yep, that's the life. Once you hit 30, you guys, you do the things. Like, take vitamins in the morning. <laughs> and make sure you take your allergy medicines. Because, you know, allergies are real. One moment. Quick coffee break. <laughs> Let's go check my garden that I forgot to water. Dang. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to water these, you guys. Like, I have enough veggies and stuff to, like, grow anything I really want. Uh, Miss May, are you the reason why I got sick? Sneezing there with your muckle hanging out. <gasps> Oops, I put away my storage. I did. Zealous Grabbing it. Oh, Miss Audie. Look at you with your little latte over there. Change clothes. And you can chill. Ma'am, I don't think you can walk that far. <laughs> Alright, let's finish harvesting over here. You know, I wonder if we're gonna have more of a harvesty experience in fall again. That'd be really cool. I understand there's no new update updates. We all have to deal and cope with that ex and accept it. <laughs> but if there are any updates that are coming up, that's going to be exciting and well welcomed. I honestly wish that we could be a little more positive when it comes to appreciating the fact that some of these updates, they're not going to be what everyone wanted, but I feel like a lot of, a lot of us, like, daily players that, you know, we just play the game to play, I feel like a lot of these updates have been actually well welcomed and well received, like, I understand we all wanted Brewster and everything, but I'm just glad we were able to have new experiences. CJ's pretty cool, Flick's pretty cool, like, I'm glad we got Kappa, but, like, <laughs> I don't know. I just appreciate what we had from the start, and then these newer updates, these are just all exciting to experience, and I kind of can't wait to see what else comes if anything else comes, because no more major updates is the thing, but we'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and harvest my trees, because I think last I looked, I might have been running low. Now, I have a habit of only growing trees that, if they're not bell trees, the fruit trees that I feel like are better received as gifts. Now, my island naturally grows um, apples. So I try to avoid growing too many apples. Of course, I place them strategically because it's my apple. Apple's my natural fruit. But I don't really benefit too much from the apples. My villagers don't care too much for apples. And again, if your only fruit <laughs> was your main meal for the first couple like days of living on a new island, I feel like you'd just be just as bored with eating it too. 
then again, there's whole, whole communities and cultures that are based off of single item foods. So, yeah. All right. And let's be real. I could shake this tree, but all of it would just disappear. And just for fun, let's do it. <laughs> One of them survived. Cool. It bounced. The black flowers. They eat it all. Let's go put this away. So let's see here. Kinda do now want to move my people over. But let's see. Let's get this away. Who should I move there? I feel like every time I try to make a playground, it just doesn't pan out the way I want it to. And I know there's a lot of islands that do kid core stuff, but I'm not sure if that's something I understand. Maybe it's just I need to do pathing better. Who knows? Let's see here. With what I got in my inventory, which is a lot. Let's see. So, as I mentioned, I do go to Treasure Islands. I got me a theorem. And this thing's pretty cool. I'm gonna take it out just to show y'all. Run, run, run. Okay, we're gonna go here. Alright, let's see here. We're gonna take a quick second here. Run really quick to Brewsters, because I need to set up my moderator really quick. See all these things I'm learning, you guys. This is definitely a learning curve. Interesting. I like this so far. We'll go to Brewster's because I feel like that music is a lot more tranquil <laughs> and it's a lot more appreciative when you when you get to stare at a screen for a second of no movement. At least we can appreciate Brewster. Brewster and his coffee. <laughs> Hubby's here informing me that we need to get me a tower. That's gonna be fun. Yes, we would like some coffee from you, Mr. Brewster. Alright. Absolutely, please give me some coffee, because mine's already cold. But I can't taste it anyway, it just tastes like bean water. Here, my Discord, does it open on there? No, you have to have mod. Okay, let me, I'll, I'll send it to me and it should show up on there if my Discord's connected. Because this is your phone. And all I gotta do is go to YouTube. And then go to your thing. Your channel. Share. Copy link. And then let's go to me. You guys, my hubby and I want to do an eternal bonding ceremony on Final Fantasy. It's literally that. You're one of the old school YouTuber people 
so, um, <laughs> you got lucky, you still have that. I was looking, an old channel of mine, you guys, I used to do vlogs a long time ago. I recently deleted that channel, but there were videos from eight years ago on there and it was nothing but vlogged videos with no editing, straight recording. <laughs> of craziness. Hmm. Let's see here. Let me help my hubby troubleshoot some things here. He might need his really long He might need his really long channel name. Manage videos, maybe, nope. <laughs> wow, how we only got video, did it for, for school. Man, you know, though I went to a city school, I feel like you had more of a better quality experience in school. Oh, that was for DeVry? Oh, yeah, you guys, DeVry, that, that's all I gotta say is wow. Wow with DeVry. Yo, you might need to download Creator Studio or what the, what the fluff? <laughs> Let's see here, you guys, this should not be this difficult. <laughs> I promise I knew what I did. I found it for mine, but I think, oh, here we go. Shutting settings, share, copy link. Is it still the, it's probably the same link from earlier. Mm, YouTube did a thing. Oh, make sure you do it with the correct um, capitalization and lowercase. That might be an issue. Uh, well, we'll continue here at Brewster's, you guys, while we're here. Brewster, I want to... Oh, no. Might be something you need to hop onto a laptop to do. Because that laptop's logged into me. You could probably hop on there and do it. Aww. Brewster. Brewed this cup especially for you. Drink up. Cool. I'll do just that because I'm not rude to you, Brewster. I watched Evil Imp's new trailer and I don't want you to do that to my island. <laughs> wow. It's got depth and perfectly balanced acidity. I love it. Yo, for reals, that's that's how I feel like whenever I try new coffee anywhere. I sometimes just want to try the house brew, but I've grown to appreciate coffee. It's probably because I used to be a barista, but I've learned to appreciate coffee. And coffee's just so complicated in a simple way, in all honesty. <laughs> but it is what it is. All right, I got the coffee. He's not gonna let me sit there because he never lets me sit here unless I have people come over. But it's okay. You might need to find out what your actual like numbers, like you see how like mine has numbers up there. You might need to go to your actual page and see what those numbers are. Oh my. Well, 
Let's go back and stare at my inventory. I do need to plant this, and we do need to figure out this theorem. Let me show you guys the theorem up here, actually. Not up here, but where there is all the space in the world. Okay, so if you don't like the sound of theorems, please um, let me know. <laughs> but yeah. So this is a theorem. It's too sunny to really see it much. Come on, Mr. Cloud. There you go. So if anyone doesn't know what a theorem is, it is a it is an instrument. Um, some people don't think it is, I think it is. It's in music, it's used musically, there's actual orchestras made of theorems, so it is an instrument. It takes skill, it takes practice to learn, it is what it is. Now the funny part about this theorem is that you turn it on and it's stuck on C or A. This is how it works. Your proximity and that's it. So if anyone's made a video using these theorems. Actually making music. I would appreciate seeing that. If anything, it just sounds like a siren, and I kind of low-key regret getting it. I like theorems. I like it when they sound like music. <laughs> but when they sound like an alarm, that stuff is not my jam. It should be the usual one. Pass me the keys. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what I was doing, is putting it away. away because no one likes the sound of a theorem when we don't know how to play it. <laughs> I like this song. Oh no, poor Daisy May, she's left now. She's left for the afternoon. Let's get something out. What happens if you left click on your name in the chat? Like not on the system, but actually directly from YouTube in the chat. So hit close. Nope. On the actual web page, hit close. And then go to content. And then select live. And then click on the actual stream, like on the actual video, the picture. Um, go to the actual video, like there's a link up there. Oh yeah, click on slow mode, by the way. Not 60 seconds, lower that to like five. And then hit save. Now go back up to the actual video. I wanted you to go to the real life video. Hit details. 
wanna see where that link is, click there. If there's a little bit of lag, it's just the system and the interwebs, you guys, I'm so sorry. Take a second to load. But yeah. Let's see here. What can I do? Not 60 seconds. Lower that to like five. Oh, there's computer audio coming back. And then hit save. So go ahead and mute that video. Actual video. I wanted you to go to the real life video. I understand. Check in chat. Are they on the once it's done loading? What's the three dots next to that comment though? Add moderator. There you go. Now you can just close those windows. You'll probably receive a notification. But yeah, so I have a few items here. I could potentially make playground esque, but I feel like this is more someone's yard. <gasps> That's what I'll do. I'll, you guys, I'm gonna give everyone more of a yard. I'm gonna make this all neighborhoody like. Because why not? So Sugar Cone is getting a complete remodel. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be entertaining, you guys. Let's see here. Because either way, I've already remodeled my little place. So let's see how much we can remodel everyone else's. Let's start with moving our first villager. We shall get premium property number one. Let's give this to the shops. <laughs> the shops will obscure my beautiful beach. And oh, it's a balloon. Let's see here. I've recently. See if my little moderator's been added on correctly here. <gasps> yeah, look at that! It works! Uh, yeah, he does kind of have all the power. He is running the OPS for me right now <laughs> and making sure everything's noki. Um, yeah, so an hour into stream, we, we, I think we got this a little more balanced out, you guys. I appreciate your time and your patience waiting on me here. Oh, miss, miss. Uh, what are you doing here, Daisy May? <laughs> miss Daisy May, it's past noon. You, what are you doing here? It's past curfew. You know what? It's fine. I need to buy more anyways, because I'm going to gift them to all my villagers, and I think I need 10 in total, so... <laughs> Yes, I will buy them all. Yes, I will rush what you say. Oh yeah, let's see what came out of the balloon, you guys. Clay. It's always clay, in all honesty. I'm 
trying to read what was said in the chat. I think you good to go. Now go out there and get them views and <laughs> make them subs, right? You guys, please, please sub if you would like. Obviously, I would appreciate subs. Or, you know, just comment, subscribe, like the video. <laughs> I know these videos are kind of long, but let's be real. A lot of streams are long. <laughs> and realistically, this is just for fun. This is just something to do while passing. So I could honestly, I work a day job talking, so why not do it for fun? <laughs> oh, let's see here. Let's go. Oh, Miss Daisy May, where are you trying to go in there? Ma'am, you're not going to be able to sell. I think there's no soliciting signs. You just can't see them. <laughs> let's see here. Let's get some wrapping gift paper. Yes, my child. My child. Hi. My child is my doggo. Shaggy. Or Sir Shagward. <laughs> Let's see here. Where's my wrapping papers? You know, I really wish we could put some of the... What are they called? The pillars from inside the house, outside the house. <laughs> I think that'd look really cool. I'm not requesting it. I'm just saying I think that'd look cool. But I'm pretty sure, pretty sure there's a way. Like there's already an item to do that with outside. I just haven't figured it out. Oh, I can't gift turnips wrapped? Fine. I guess. Well then, I'm just gonna gift everyone naked turnips. And then I'll go start moving houses. Now, I'm gonna do it the natural way today. I usually time travel because I'm impatient. Because who isn't impatient? But for the sake of streaming, I'm just gonna do it calmly but surely. Marshall's even home. So Marshall's home is not standard. I've already happy homed his home <laughs> with my own doing already. Oh my my my. He's already wearing his Joker hat. Hello my little jester. So I feel like Marshall's very sophisticated. Too sophisticated. So he's too good for an actual stereo system. No, no, no. He listens to a music box while here. He's making some, it looks like fried rice in his little kitchenette here with full-size fridge. What's he have on there? It looks like he's got a recipe, you guys. Well, not handmade, but. Huh, I just realized he has pictures on here. Who are they? KK and it looks like someone else. Isabel! That's a picture of KK and Isabel. We got KK. I think this is a picture of food on the fridge and an article, which is cool. Let's see, he's making some fried rice. But yeah. <laughs> I love Marshall. He's grown on me. Like I said uh, in a prior stream, I only got him initially because I know a lot of people liked him and stuff, but for some reason, I figured, hey, why not get him on my island? And then turns out I kind of liked him. He is kind of full of himself, but he's chill like that. He has his little instant going. He has a cool bed right here. Now, I know feng shui wise, this is not wise. So many windows. 
He, his bed's entrapped, like his foot's facing the window. Like that's just bad juju, right? But it's a video game. <laughs> so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, put superstition on him. Hey dude. Yeah, hi, say hi to stream. Thank you. Let's talk to you and give you some stuff, but I can't while you're sitting. Hey, I uh, can't think of anyone. I'd rather po host at my fabulous uh, Pier Atire right now. Mm. Sorry, so the coffee time there. Pide a tierra. I feel like that's Italian. Possibly. This guy speaks every language to me sometimes. And are, sometimes they're wrong. <laughs> well, let's see here. Ah, so you noticed a pine tree. Pine bonsai tree. Yes. Didn't think I had a green thumb, did you? Wanna guess what color my toes are? <laughs> That's a bad joke. That's a bad joke, Marshall. That's a bad joke, my dude. But it's okay. Let's see what color are his bean toes. I love this handheld mode, especially... Oops, that was accidentally. Especially when you're in the villager's house. Mr. Marshall, your bean toes are... They're like a grayish color. Are you feeling okay, sir? It's okay, my dog's bean toes are black. <laughs> <gasps> he looked shocked. <laughs> he looked so shocked. Oh. <laughs> he looked so shocked from hearing that information there. Ooh, what are you reading, sir? Do you mind if I peek over your shoulder? Oh, you're reading about KK or about guitars? Probably both, my good sir. Well, I can't give you anything because you're sitting. <laughs> Yes, I would like to chat with you so I can give you a turn up. Ew. Wait, what? Are you roasting me, Mr. Marshall? Oh, but I like that outfit you're wearing is straight up peanut brittle. What does that mean? And now I'm actually hungry for peanut brittle. You know what, Marshall? For that, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change my clothes. To my chill vibe one. There we go. This is my little cute outfit. I like this outfit. I wouldn't wear IRL, but... Yes! Don't call me Peanut Brittle! Don't say I remind you of Peanut Brittle. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, the snow is pretty, but it's so cold. <laughs> Can't they make hot snow? But like, oh, <sighs> because my dude, hot snow. What is hot snow? You know, ask in chat here, my moderator. Do you know what hot snow is? What would you consider hot snow? I just know you shouldn't eat yellow snow or pink snow. Pink snow is actually the most dangerous snow to eat, actually. Because pink snow, if in case anyone didn't know, usually means there's like little organisms in it growing that we can't see with our naked eye. But indeed, they give a pink like hue. <laughs> just warm snow. <laughs> At what point does snow melt though and become just compact ice? <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and give you a turn up. How are you doing? Psh, psh. <laughs> You're doing well? I'll we'll probably end stream in another 15 minutes once I give everything to everyone. Because I am actually getting a little hungry. Yes, I don't mind sharing that with you. You're welcome, Miss Lady. And it's almost the doggo's feeding time. So let's see here. This body. Oh, you're working out, Miss Lady. Well, 
here's some turnips, so you can make a salad later. It's poison, yes, the pink snow is poison. It's, it, yeah, just don't eat pink snow, you guys. Don't eat any snow at that, actually. <laughs> Especially if you're in the city, just, just, just don't, don't touch the snow. Like that black snow too, the slush, that's just dirty snow, like in all honesty. I lived in enough places to know. Oh, I can't go that way. The army of tur little dudes is everywhere. Let's see here. All right, who should we move first, y'all? Let's move. Should we move the big guys first? Should we move Timmy and Tommy first into that big area? Or should we move the sisters over? I feel like when my friends do come over, typically we try to get everyone to sell all their stuff first. Typically. And then after that, we tend to just run around and my husband creates havoc all over, <laughs> all over the place in the, in the game. So let's go to services. I'll move the Able Sisters first. Hey, yeah, that sounds like a good idea because they're easier to decorate for. I can put them next to the river. And then Timmy and Tommy. Where should I move Timmy to? You guys, I am so indecisive. I don't know who I should do first. You know what I should do is ask my Google to flip a coin or we can do a D20. I rule my life with D20s. <laughs> evens will be what will evens be you guys should it be nook's cranny or should it be the able sisters hmm let's see here evens can be let's make it nook's cranny for evens so the sisters will be the odd ones there is three of them so it would make sense to make odds, the sisters, and evens, the twins, because there's only two of them. So let's see here. I don't want to accidentally trigger anyone's home devices. So let's see if there's a way we can get this to go. An island. The shop or the tailors. Okay, now is the critical moment here where I will use my device, my handheld device. Let's see here. Roll. Roll a d20. All right, looks like the shop's moving first. <laughs> Thank you, Master Asian. Yes, that's exactly what we did. <laughs> and as you guys heard through the mic, it was a 14. And let's see here. So the twins will be moved first. It will be 10K and I got the 10Ks. So let's do it. <laughs> very good, very good. Let's see what, oops. No, 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 that's the wrong person. I didn't mean to click blathers. No, sir. <laughs> I gotta talk to Nook. So you guys, this is what happens if you don't actually look and you just click. I thought I was over it. Oops. Oh, let's see here. 
So in case you didn't know, you can go back to Mr. Nook and be like, Hey, yo, dude, I totally did the wrong one. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Nook. I, I, I need to change the place that we're moving. I need to change the layout again. Yes, let's not move it. Please. Oh my, did you have f trouble finding a good location? Well, I suppose we can table this for another day. I'll take back the moving kit I gave you before, and I'll just give you back the bills you paid. Oh, I bet you that hurts him. I bet you that hurts his soul having to refund me. The 10k bells. <laughs> Let's see here. Don't worry, I'll be sure to tell Blathers that we won't be moving the museum after all. Yes, because I like where that museum is. Yes, now let's go and move the shop. What do we have in mind? Let's move the shop. I did, I did mess up. Okay, the shop. There we go. Oh, the shop. Yes, I want to move your nephews, okay? Move. Yeah, I know it'll be 10 bells. I appreciate, you know, I don't know if anyone talks about this, but I appreciate that the cost of moving everything goes down after you've, like, unlocked a lot of the things in this game. Because I felt like you had to sell everything and anything you could just to move things around your island. Like, if you felt like redecorating something you have to really think about it and plan it out and it felt kind of it just felt overwhelming <laughs> so timmy what do you think about aichan's suggestion to move the shop i'm all for it aichan we'll find us a spot that will make business boom i'm sure of it yes actually it's right next to the airport sir <laughs> Yes, leave the rest to me. I got this. Yes. Alright, you guys, let's go. Let's go and uh, do the thing of moving the shop. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys, for clearing my throat like that. Let's see here. So, this is where my airport is. Come in. And, yeah. So, the shop's gonna be he around here. <gasps> I could totally put the Able Sisters low-key right here. Because they, they're chill. I don't think the Able Sisters need that much room, to be quite honest with you. Now the shop, though. Let's see here. I could put it against the snake. But I feel like then it would block for anyone trying to fish on that side. No. Oh, well. Whenever I have a fishing tourney, I have a habit of giving all my friends items. So they can fish better. Let's imagine this, because I feel like that's too far from the edge, but I feel like it's just right to still be able to see. Uh, this is a good spot. Let me rethink this. I don't need it exactly on the edge. I could add items back here. Okay, let's let's give me one. Let's give ourselves like a three part path. Yeah, there we go. So I can still put stuff there and I can still see. Oh, that's a turnaround. Okay, so we'll go here. Y'all, this is probably in the same place I put it earlier. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. Let me imagine it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You know, let's 
see what it looks like next to next to the water here. Let me imagine this one. I feel like this would look better. I wish it would let you change angles so you could see how it looks with the horizon. But it doesn't. It's okay. I think... Let's see, what does my moderator think of this locale? Good. Let's see. Well, we can either leave it there or we can move it. I feel like, especially in the winter, it's harder to see how your island's going to pan out just because everything's so snowy. <laughs> Uh, I think this should be good. Actually, let's give it some space on this side. Let's go one more block over. There we go. Let's do this. The only downside is sometimes when my husband comes over to my island, he puts things everywhere. All I know is I'm creating new hiding spaces for him to put things in. <sighs> Sorry, you guys, for that long sigh out there. But yeah. I think I just found a new spot. And this spot will um, create a new hiding spot for my husband. <laughs> and it's okay. Yes, we picked a new location for the shop. Look at this. Okay, perfect. Now what we're going to do here these trees, dig them up, because I want to keep these palm trees. I know I have an array of them on my island, to, on my, you know, left side of my island, but we gotta, we gotta not destroy everything we see, even though I totally dismantled the whole island the other day. <laughs> oh, we gotta go check out Kappa. I, this is why I take forever playing this game, y'all. I just kind of forget what I'm supposed to be doing, and then I remember that I want to do something else in the game, so I do the things. I do all the things. But definitely, we're going to need to be adding some lights out here. Alright, perfect. So we got that. Let's go ahead and clear this path thing I laid here on this beach. Ooh, we can put like a stall here. And then I can put recipes or items there that I can no longer want, like a free-for-all stall here. Garage sale. That's what they're called, garage sales. I don't want my stuff anymore, so here, you pay me to take it away. <laughs> That's what I think garage sales are. But yeah. Let's see here. Now what we can do is always, and I mean always do your best to carry a storage with you in your pocket. Because then when you think your pockets are about to fill up, guess what? They're not you can put things away. <laughs> and let's go ahead here and get a couple of those cityscape items out. Mm, let's see here. Let's give them a storage shed behind or nearby and then let's 
ask of a DIY table nearby too. And then a little outside kitchen. Because sometimes the nooks, they like fresh food, you know? They try to tell you, hey, sell us some food as their daily item. So you never know. Let's see, what else should be by the nooks? Let's give them a garbage can. Recycling bin, nah. But they definitely probably have trash. They probably want these cardboard boxes. And a cart. Uh, let's see here, I have a couple stalls. We'll worry about that beach part in a little bit. I kinda wanna focus on their little section here. Let's do that. I can give them a fire hydrant. Nah. Let's see here. Let's give him a gumball dispenser. And let's see, what else is there? This is the thought process, y'all. I just go one by one on all my items. Let's go ahead and get a fortune cookie chart. And what's a shop? If you don't have some like random arcade game or casino game there to waste your money on, right? Guys, I've been playing so much Final Fantasy lately. Yesterday I spent way too long playing it. That I really wish that, uh, what is that place called? The Golden Saucer was real. But then I was dreaming last night and I'm one of those people that remembers their dreams for the most part. And, um, yeah, I realized here that Golden Saucer is just Circus Circus. It's really just Circus Circus. So, <laughs> it would be like Circus Circus if it had the funding to be all it really could be. <laughs> if it had the money to envision what it wanted to be at one point. Well, let's see here. Mm -hmm. What else should the Nookies have? <laughs> a donation box, anyone? <laughs> Let's see here. I wish I had a donation box. I'm not sure how to set that up. I don't, like, understand it, but it is what it is. <laughs> Let's see here. What else should the Nooks have? Definitely, I will be taking their little display shelf and displaying items over time. Yeah, I don't really see much of anything else I could place for the nooks over here. I keep glancing at chat, saying if I see anything new, please stop by and say hi. I'd really appreciate at least seeing you say hi. Uh, let's see here. And if you're watching this later in the day, hi, thank you for watching. <laughs> I know there's a lot of technical issues that we were trying to figure out, and I think we figured out most of it. I think we're just good to go. Long story short, I need a better computer, <laughs> but I just need something with more processing. But for what I have, I feel like this is decent enough. Definitely, I'm not going to try to be streaming any of my PlayStation stuff on this saying how both need to be hardwired into the interwebs at the same time, which probably means I might need more processing. But we'll see what that is. I'll, I'll discuss with the hubby later, see what he thinks. I really do. So I'm going to tell you guys about this while I am figuring out what fencing I want to put around the nooks. So what I really want to do is there's this thing we found out about. It's called, it's on Final Fantasy, of course. Final Fantasy can be played on the TV. Oh, not the TV, sorry. <laughs> well, you can play it on the TV. Um, it can be played on the computer or on your PlayStation. I, from my understanding, a lot of uh, new servers were opened up recently or something like that. And now people can finally join and play. 
I got lucky. I, I joined a while ago. Okay, like a while ago, being a few months ago before all the servers got full and everything. But um, I was able to get in. I'm currently level 40 something, 40 something. I will probably grind out later anyways, because I really want to become a dancer and I want to work and get that dancer class so badly. So it is what it is. But I was looking and they have some, well, not I wasn't looking. I heard about it and then my husband looked deeper into it. So there is this thing that they have. It's called the eternal bonding ceremony now this is something that I really want to do because like as I you guys are gonna hear me bring up my husband a lot I'm not gonna deny that just because I don't know he's one of my best friends he's like my homie <laughs> and as cliche as that sounds it is what it is he supports me through everything and it's pretty cool you know when you just find that one person that does that for you um, but the point is is that I think as silly as it sounds to get married in a game you know uh, I would like that I think it's pretty cool I, I watched SOA or sort of online and I thought it was adorable watching cute doll and the person he is in love with you know build their life together to not spoil too too much but they definitely happily build their life together. So I would love that. And I would love to, you know, life imitates art. I've already been married with my hubby for about, what, seven years now? Eight years? I, it's been a minute. <laughs> and we've been, we've been married and we got married through our religious belief also which is kind of similar to this whole eternal bondingness, <laughs> And I think that'd be pretty cool. Now, when it comes to the details of that, I gotta dig in a little deeper. It looks like Final Fantasy has this whole, like you gotta apply and all this stuff. And apparently if you want to, let's say give gifts to your attendees, you just, Yes. Oh, <laughs> my, my, my hubby's correcting me here. He's like, her name's Asuna. I knew her name. I just didn't want to like say it. Well, then again, SOA has been out for how many years now? I think everyone kind of knows. SAO. I can't. <laughs> SOA. What's SOA? Son, no. Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> SOA, SAO, I don't know, man. You guys, abbreviations confuse me. <laughs> but yes, I, 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 yeah, they're awesome and they get married and I want to do that. But let's see here. Yes, we would have to play the game. I feel like my husband and I always play the game together. Like, he's playing right now, granted, and I'm not playing right now. But I could probably switch over in a little bit. I just don't trust the connection of stream while, because the PlayStation's not even hardwired. So I feel more confident hardwiring the PlayStation and having my laptop hardwired. But I think we were supposed to hardwire them the other day, but my hubby and I are both sick. <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe later I can directly stream from the PlayStation. We'll see how that goes. But let's see here. Meanwhile, I was looking for something else on here. I got so distracted, you guys. I'm so sorry. I forgot what I was doing. Like, I know what I'm doing, but I forgot what I was looking for. Okay, I think I got what I need. Let's go ahead and start from to left. So, first things first. We got a place to trash somewhere. <laughs> Alright, that's the storage shed. That's the DIY workbench. These things can go kind of here. Storage shed. You will inevitably be in my way. Yes, 
so we'll do it this way. And what we'll do here is we'll be nice and put the workbench right there. And then we'll put the cooking right here. We're trying to conserve space, you guys, not create more clutter. So this is exactly what two, three by two. And it's a whole little DIY station. Look at that. Yay. <laughs> I'm celebrating something that should be celebrated. <laughs> well, who says I can and can't celebrate things? It is just what it is. Street lamp. Well, okay. Maybe I messed up. I should probably pull this out more. Let's, let's do me a favor. easier to push something than move it sometimes. Yes, now we push this. I think I messed up, y'all. I messed up. Oh, no, I didn't. Cool. Oops, that's here. There we go. You guys, this is the one thing about animals that drives a lot of people crazy. It's the fact that when we're decorating outside, we have to literally push and push it. <laughs> push our items everywhere. But hey, on the bright side, I can actually put the trash bin right here. Actually, do I want to put the trash bin right there? Did I grab? Trash bags? I did. I did. I did. Okay, so we can move it this way. A little lamp. Because you need good lighting next to there. <gasps> did the Animal Crossing gods get me something? But yeah, back to the point of the whole eternal bonding ceremony <laughs> on Final Fantasy. I would love to do that. So, I know I have a friend that streams on Twitch. I'd be happy to have him and his friends come over. I think if we do the free version, we can have up to 80 guests. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people, y'all. Like, a lot of people. So, maybe we'll wait until we have more friends in the game. In all honesty, if you want to play Final Fantasy with me, um, I go by Ryoko Mosi. That's R-Y-O-K-O. Last name Mosi, which is M-O-S-I. And um, yeah, I believe I'm in Fairy. Yeah, that's that's my home place. That's my server. <laughs> I'm in the fairy server. I'm old school. That's how you can know who's where, who's from where. <laughs> it's based off of that, I imagine. But yeah, I'm in the fairy server, so come find me. Come say hi. Come play with me. I definitely am still going through the story. So definitely need people to play dungeons with me. I'm DPS. I'm currently on my monk monk missions. I'm not too fond of these missions right now because the person that I have that's giving me all these training, quote unquote, they're kind of not nice to me or my quote unquote brother in the game, who's the monk that's also giving me advice. But I, I guess it's just the character type. He's supposed to be that way. We've we've come to terms. We being my game character and the monk that's training me, low key. <laughs> my husband's making a comment that I should probably start streaming Final Fantasy. I should, but I will need to finish decorating here because that's the point. I want to finish decorating this. So after this, I'll probably hop on Final Fantasy once I finish 
getting a bite because, yeah. And I also need to reschedule um, the test of the COVIDness because my hubby and I got our results. They say they're negative, but then tell me why. Why is it that I've lost my sense of taste? And now I'm starting to cough. I think we might have gotten tested too early because that's a thing that happens. We've been around someone with a confirmed case of the vid. <laughs> I laugh, it's not funny, but it, it, it's true. We've been around someone that has been confirmed, got lucky that their significant other was negative also and is currently not feeling any symptoms because that's the person I was actually the most in contact with during that whole time. Uh, seeing how I am just that close to that person, but we'll see. I just don't trust the first initial results. Yes, there's my electric pole. How else does the crannies, how else do the nooklings have power? I really don't understand where everyone gets their power from on this island. There's no solar panels. There's like nothing, like unless everything's solar powered and I just don't see the little grid chip thing. But who knows? Let's see here, where should we put this candy machine, y'all? <gasps> there we go, blocking the DIY stuff. There we go, because it's not like people need to actively see that. That's for my Oh, that's not the candy machine I thought it was. <laughs> Like someone pulled up, so I have a low key feeling my dog's gonna go crazy in a second because he likes to greet everyone. And we've been quarantining with the doggo because rumor is I don't know if it's true, but rumor is, is that the creatures can also get it, and we don't want to risk spreading it. We have family members who are in the vulnerable age group, so we just don't want to be rude and um, not take into them into consideration. So yeah. Well, let's see here. I have a love-hate for this breaker trap game, you guys, just because it annoys me, the sound annoys me, but I like it. And I think it's cute. Let's put it right here in front of the boxes. <laughs> if you're gonna gamble with the nooks, you're gonna have to deal that you're next to the shipment. Actually, that would make a lot of sense. You don't want your shipping items on the side to be visible <laughs> to your items. Let's add one more street lamp here next to the light pole. Not the light pole. What is this called? Power poles. And I'm just creating the perfect spots for my husband to leave everything everywhere later. Put it next to their fortune cookie. In case anyone's curious where these come from. These I actually got because I play Pocket Camp and they were doing this thing. I think it's still happening, but if you link your Nintendo online with your Pocket Camp, um, it will actually update and make this available through your shopping. Let me show you here. So I've spent way too many bells. So I have the Nook Shopping app on my Nook phone. If you don't, you would just have to go to Resident Services and they, you know, that machine, the ABD or whatever machine, you can go there. But you go here to Special Goods Ooh, I haven't been here in a minute. I got a world map. I got a few things. But after you link it up, it's actually under promotion. 
And yes, I got all the Hello Kitty kittiness of that release when it happened. And I used to have a Hello Kitty villager, but I, I quickly kicked them out after a while. Like, they're cute and all, but you can't redo their houses. You, they're, they're a little more limited, which is understanding because of branding. But the Cinna stuff is actually cute. The cinnamon roll gut person, yeah. Well, let's see here. You scroll to wherever. If you've already, if you don't have, listen. If you don't have the Hello Kitty stuff, that's fine. But it might actually be for the better. Uh, and then Mario. Last year they gave us all these cool Mario things. We had fun with it. I was kind of upset that they didn't do a Zelda thing, but I'm low key suspecting I don't know if it's true don't don't I'm not trying to spread rumors but I have this weird feeling that when Nintendo said they're not doing any major updates I understand what they mean by major like they're not going to be adding any major things in a sense of like hey now you and your friends can now you know do PvP you know player versus player on these islands and like do this whole mini game thing. Like, I don't think they're gonna add that. No, I, that's ridiculous to think. That's a very big patch. That's a lot of, there's a lot of people involved and a lot of things that could go wrong in a game. Now, adding little updates, like, hey, you guys, here's some new items. Or, hey, you guys, uh, we fixed this bug. I feel like that is doable with a team of like, maybe 20 people, you know, that's an, quote unquote easier update to provide in a system with so many people across the world that play this game. Now, what my point is, is that with all these major new games coming out, you got Splatoon, you got Breath of the Wild 2 that is heavily rumored to be officially released finally this year. You got also, oh, I forgot what else is coming out. There's another game that's coming out, but these are the two games I care about. <laughs> but you got all these three games that are coming out that have had, oh yeah, what is it called? Oh, I can't remember it now. But they've had major integrations into other games. Like Breath of the Wild, when it was released back in 2017, it had an integration with a game and can't remember the game right now but there was like this whole like if you saw a shooting star come from the sky it would land you may possibly get items from it now that game had that integration but that wasn't like a major update within Zelda and I have a feeling that this game um, you know Animal Crossing is going to end up having like items added later on I don't think they'll add villagers but I think they'll add items to promote you know just how they did for Mario here to promote the new Breath of the Wild and the new uh, Splatoon games because that's the one thing we're missing realistically out of their promotions and they heavily promote Mario like no other and it is their, you know, it's Nintendo's lifeblood, which I understand why they added all this. And Zelda, Zelda's had its, what was it, 25th anniversary? And everyone had a huge uproar about how it wasn't fair. We didn't get anything. But I don't think it was the right time. Because wouldn't Breath of the Wild 2 be the right time to release something big? <laughs> but yeah. But the cool part is, is when you link Animal Crossing pocket camp with your Nintendo Switch Online. You get all these cool things like your little pocket camp phone case and you get the break trapper which is a lot of waste of that uh, currency that you get with friends on that game because I don't I don't think it's worth it quite personally it's really hard to get all the same people or anything like it's, it's just I don't know it's just casino game to me and of course the campsite sign you might have seen it peeking somewhere on my campsite you got your fortune cookie cart we got these marketplace decorations we got the okay motor sign which is um, in my motor area <laughs> and then I got some of these little dudes they have different variations 
you can DIY them to see them. I love the clothing though. Okay, you ready for this? We got the hat for the OK Motor mechanics. We got the camper tee. We got the OK Motors jacket. Now, seriously, I wish this was real. I want an overshirt that is made just like this. I will wear that. I will wear that more than just for Halloween. <laughs> oh, the footballs. But yeah, I, I would love to have an OK Motors jacket. But, and then I could work in it. Only the problem is it's white. So like, we all know, anyone that's worked on vehicles or anything, anything that can be dirty will get dirty. And uh, white overshirts, I don't understand the point of them, unless you're a service writer. Because let's be real, you're less likely to get it dirty if you're a service writer, <laughs> unless you're in a mom and pop shop. And then please, like, we all know if you're a service writer in a mom and pop shop, you're probably also doubling as like an additional hand <laughs> as a mechanic, or you're over there being the person that drives in or rides in whatever item it is. Because, yeah, I feel like they low key get dirty, but they don't get dirty, dirty. Let's see here. What color should we make these things? I think I have everything placed. And I like the park fencing. I think it's cute. <sighs> Let's make it yellow for happiness. I wonder if I can change the color of that gumball machine. Because if I can make it yellow too. Let's see. Can I make you yellow? Do we have to go to Cyrus? Oh no, we gotta go to Cyrus, you guys. We gotta go to Cyrus to change that. Oh well, all right, we'll go to Cyrus in a second. Let's place some of this. I hear a balloon. Anyone that doesn't know or have flashbacks to uh, April of 2020, hear that whistling. There's a balloon in your vicinity. trying to figure out where it is. <gasps> there it is. Tiki, <laughs> I found it. Yeah, April 2020. Those balloons, man, they they were something. Let's see, what is this? This is an overall dress. Let's place it. So, oh <laughs> no, no, no. This Ooh, flashbacks to the 90s, man. Yeah. It's adorable, though. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and build a fence. Hmm. Let's see here. We're designating this the shopping plaza area. Let's go here. I want ample room because I still want to be able to fish and I still want to be able to have everyone gather the way we do. Also, I feel like we need to have room. I think I might make that a seating area on that side. Guys, I have hiccups. I might be hungry, but it's okay. <laughs> let's just do that there. No, let's do it this way. So people know they can go back here. Yeah, that's why you'll enter. I'm gonna cut it off. still enter this beach from here, but let's be real, I'd much rather we enter this plaza like civilians, <laughs> like civilians, like civilized people. There we go. Yay, we kind of have it going. One at a time. I don't like that yellow anymore. It's 
just too great. <laughs> hey guys, I can't make up my mind. Let's see here. Maybe I just don't want this anymore. I actually really like the pumpkin fencing, but that pumpkin fencing is like... Oh no. It's very... Actually, no, we're gonna go with the pumpkin fencing. Because it's very standard fencing. But I feel like it looks good, especially on this, like when you look at it from an angle. I feel like the imagery just looks better. I keep looking at my husband as if I'm talking to him. It's just, I don't have all my figurines around me. <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of like, I don't know who to look at. Eventually you guys will get cam. If my if my CPU is already having a hard time streaming, I think it would have a harder time streaming and showing video in all honesty. But we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out over time. Let's see here. I got a lot of the spooky fencing. Spooky fencing, you guys, is my favorite. Ooh, you know what? Let's just do the Latisse fencing. It's actually kind of cute. Let's change it to black. Yes, let's customize this and make it black. Park fencing. Nah, let's do this one. Yes, black. Or should I do turquoise? Well, that's light blue, but still it looks turquoise. Turquoise. No, oh, I'll do black because everything else is black around it. Yes, I am okay with this. Double click A so you can speed it up. Guys, I'm getting hungry. I'll probably end stream soon so I can go eat. I think I've said that like a few times already. I might continue more after this. If I do hop back on later, you guys, I'm probably going to be streaming Final Fantasy. I'm going to see how it works directly from my PlayStation. So if there are technical issues, I'm very sorry. <laughs> it is an older PS4. It's one of the OG ones. Nice, bulky. But, you know, it, yeah, my husband just reminded me. It does sound like a jet taking off. Like, yeah, it's just, it's just loud. It, it also is a great heater. <laughs> this whole time it's kept our, our lovely gaming room slash living room very nice and warm during this season which is much appreciated you know what we're gonna close that off uh no not there there we go This is all sorts of difficult, you guys. This is the one thing I know I'm not asking for it to be added, but one thing I like about Happy Home Designer is that when you're decorating the outside, this is a lot easier to do. <laughs> That's the one thing I like. All right, perfect. So we have our little shopping here. Now all I need is just things to get moved over from the other one. So let's go to the shopping plaza. And grab some of those things. So we have medicine. We have weeds. We have a display case. We have an ATM. We have a shopping cart and a drinking machine. This park, hmm, this park clock, nah, we're not going to take it, we're going to leave it by the shop, because how else are the mechanics going to know what time it is, because you know, they get paid by the hour, most places they're paid flat rate, and um, yeah, little synopsis of what flat rate even means.
they literally get paid a set time amount. So let's say your car needs an oil change. Guess what? Someone somewhere did that oil change in 30 minutes. And that's it. But the kicker is, at the shops where it takes two hours for your oil change to get done, that mechanic really took two hours. They're only getting paid 30 minutes worth of work. So trust me when I say the mechanics are not trying to make you pay more for longer hours. They're only getting paid for the first 30 minutes. The rest is because they have other issues. And it, granted, it varies state by state and the varies on state laws and the shops and stuff. But some shops, they, they just, their mechanics only get paid for the work they do. But it takes longer. Sometimes it just, it just has to take longer. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of good mechanics are not trying to waste their time. They're not trying to waste your time and they don't want to waste their time because at the end of the day they want to do a good job and they don't want to have to have you come back for something that doesn't need to get done again in all honesty because a good mechanic will make sure things are done right the first time the rest is usually user error in my opinion <laughs> and uh but then again i'm not a mechanic my husband is the mechanic of the family and he would probably give better information on that i'm just the person that says hey this needs to get fixed <laughs> and show me how to do it because I'll do it I just need to know how to do it and I am what you call a garage mechanic <laughs> I am NOT a mechanic mechanic Ooh, should we put the vending machine the drink machine is definitely gonna go next to oh, I keep putting the candy machine there no we do not want the children gambling away actually no we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna enable it here you guys we're gonna put the ATM next to the gambling machine <laughs> there we go oh, that's beautiful we're gonna put the drink machine right here another balloon I feel like I've been getting a lot more balloons lately that or I'm just not aware that five minutes have passed every time I bring it up. Let's see here. Oh, I got a gold nucky. That's awesome. Okay. Drink machine, there you are. This whole time I forgot to change my outfit. Let's build. Yep. This is my outfit I'm supposed to wear. <laughs> and I'm building things. I got my little work shirt, uh, work suit on. I got my tools. I got my work boots on because safety is no accident. I just don't have a hard hat because I'm not terraforming. And just moving things where they gotta go. Let's see here, let's give them a shopping cart. We'll put the shopping cart right. Where should a shopping cart be? Let's put it right here. Make it like Aldi, where you have to put a quarter to even get the cart. Blocking everyone's view. Let's see here. Merchandise table. Actually, let's do that. Let's move this over here. You know, this the shopping cart probably has a uh, broken wheel or something, you know, when you hear it drag. <laughs> and we'll put the merchandise table right here. Go ahead and 
display here this and this in case Leaf wants to drop by or something. He knows he can get his medicine and his weeds from here because that's safe for him to get. And then we'll go ahead and we gotta go to Cyrus and see what colors he can put this candy machine. Let's see here, what else is there we need to do? Alright, let's see. Is there anything else I need to bring from over there to here? I'll probably have to redo Kiki's area. Okay, I don't see anything else around the shop. Sisters, y'all are good. Okay. <laughs> so I think we have set up the shop area. Now all I need is little decors. Here I'm gonna put I'm gonna put thingies right there. Let's go ahead and get the thingies I'm talking about. Thingies being some seating. Let's set up this entryway. Let's see here. So we got some. Let's go ahead and give my villagers a garden bench. Nah. Let's see here, what's a good seating area? I could give him a garden bench. What do y'all think? Give it a second here. See what my moderator or anyone else in chat thinks I should place here. I could always make items. I have some items I could make. I just feel like if I put the, I feel like this just needs seating. Like, should I build some of those logs and like a little fire here? I feel like that's very standard, but putting log and fire would be kind of sufficient here in front of the next cranny. Or should I make it kind of more, I don't know, like some tables and I could place, I have some like, um, what is it called? Designs I can place here to make it look like an outdoor, almost, what is it called? Like cafe to say the least, or at least like a reading area. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. So let's put away what I can. And while we're at it, let's see if I even gave Static his turnips. Because I don't think I gave him turnips. Okay, right now I can put away that shed. Because I already have a shed here. So I could probably put the trees back right here. Let's see here. Can I plant a tree here? Actually, I want to plant it there. I don't think it will let me. I think that's one of those, like, no can do's. Yeah, that's a no can do. That's a nope scoop from them. Let's try here. Got a snow covered palm tree. And this might be too close to the water, but I feel like it blocks it too. Uh, let's see. Let's put a. Well, we'll worry about that in a second. Let's go 
ahead and place down what I want to put here. You guys, this island designer though, as much slack as everyone tends to give it sometimes, it, it's so worth it. It's definitely worth getting to know how to use it and understanding how to take advantage of designs. Now, there's pretty standard designs on my thing. Some of them are just, you know, what they are. <laughs> but I kind of like this design here. I know it's not the cutest of things, but I like those IKEA. So IKEA has these, like, I don't know what they're called. They're they're like I call them Lego Lego floor pieces. <laughs> they're not Lego. They are not made by Lego. But they feel like Legos. They kind of go into each other. They are a little you know, one foot by one foot squares. And all you do is you just place it on your patio and boom, you got decks. Like or you have fake grass or you can actually alternate it and it's really great for like renting areas if you know you're at a rental you want to spruce up your backyard or your patio but obviously you're not going to go and spend the money it takes to like get actual astroturf for you know pay someone to get actual decking like when you're renting that's not a priority in your book you know so what I'm thinking here is that I can maybe mimic the same thing here. Let's see here. Doo -doo -doo. You know, though, now that I finish laying down the whole pattern, I think I'm going to have to see if there's something else I can put down. Because it's cute, but I, I, it, mm, I don't, I don't like it. Static, do you like this? Hey Static, here's some, here's some turnips. I need more room in my pockets. <laughs> I would hope you smell turnips, dude. gonna have to wait a second. For now, I will put what I consider my temporary flooring, which will be if anyone recalls earlier, I just erased it all. It was like those like wooden plank things. And I feel like that's actually the most realistic in all reality too. Is if I was to build a little deck like thing on the floor especially in a sandy area I think it's just more realistic to put boards sand shifts you're, you're not going to be able to put like concrete on there anyways unless you really reinforce it that's just that's a mess so let's go ahead and put these boards down I feel like this is my go-to design on my entire island. And I think just because it looks... To me, it looks idealistically realistic enough in my mind where I've seen this in application in real life and it just always looks clean. I, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of islands that use 
this similar pattern. I wish I remembered who the creator was of this pattern, but to give them credit for it, because I definitely do not have this type of creativity for pattern making at this time. I think if I just got myself my little stylus and I tried really hard to work on it, I might be able to create something. But this is good enough for now. Alright. Let's get out what we can. So, let's get out some things. What would work here? There we go. So we got that there. And yes, I have the infamous froggy chair. <sighs> so many people love this chair. I only got it because I was like, yo, that's everywhere. Just like the other chair. <laughs> I know. Like, just like the uh, Marshall. I got it because everyone mentioned it. I wanted to know what was so fantastic. And I, I honestly, I have no use for this froggy chair. Maybe, maybe I can use it in cubes like playground or something. Make him have like a little desk where he can draw and maybe he can use that froggy chair there. I don't know. It's beyond me what to do with that froggy chair. Um, let's see here. What else states chillin' by the beach in front of a merchandise area. Mm. Lighting. Lighting definitely counts, but what would we deem as appropriate lighting? Let's do... Let's see here. There's no appropriate lighting that we could put there that I feel like would not obstruct the beauty of the beach. So we'll skip that part. Let's see, what else is there? <laughs> My random cactus. I, I need to figure out where to apply that. Let's see. We should put the snack machine up. This is kind of cute. Let's put an anchor nearby. Let's see here. Fishing. Let's put a surfboard nearby. Let's put an electric scooter because we're eco-friendly around here. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, that'll do for now. I don't want to overcrowd it. Especially because right here. So, I got that there. Alright, mamas, we're moving you forward. Because we need room right here. So we have the workbench. And, where's my... There she is. Alright, so we got that. And we got this. Alright, so now... The cool bench area. Appreciating it very well. Alright, let's put the table down. And we'll start from there. Let's push this back a bit. 
don't want to add panels there, but I feel like I might need to. I need to change the color of that table. I have my table one color and my chairs are another color. So let's go ahead and change that up in a little bit. Let's at least lay everything out here. This anchor statue. Let's place it right over here. Push that eye chime, you know you can. Alright, let's go up one. Over one. Can you do it? Yes. I like that there. Then we'll go ahead and put a little palm tree right here. So I think that looked cute. What? Oh, is it too close to the rocks? Jeez. What about right here? I don't appreciate that there. Okay, let's try here. Can the palm tree go there? Nope. Why can't you grow there, palm tree? Can the palm tree grow? Well, obviously it's not gonna grow there. Why couldn't it grow there? That's what I want to know. Probably because I had an item right there. It's always the items. Because now, watch, I can do this. Plop. See? It had to be so difficult. Here, I can put my little fishing rod stand right there, and then back up a bit, and then I can put my surfboard right here. Yes, perfect. Okay, and then my electric scooter is going to go up here because we know this is the free parking area right here. pull this this way. One, two. This I'm going to go die. So one, two. Perfect. Okay. Actually, I'm so indecisive. There we go. And then I'll probably put something right here. It's probably going to be another tree. <laughs> I don't have to whisper that, but yeah. Oh, let's put something away. Was it? Oh no, we're not trying to put that away. We're trying to DIY it. Alright. Let's customize this. <gasps> Another thing that has to go to Mr. Cyrus. Alright, this is starting to look like a trip to Mr. Cyrus right now. Alright, well, let's see. What else do we need? Okay, so something else should go there, definitely. Mm. I could add this, but that feels so out of place. Uh, let's see, let's see. What would be best? so out of place right there. Let's see. A barbecue! There we go. Get us a barbecue next to that place. And then... What else would make sense right there? We gotta take that to Cyrus. Yeah, let's put a sandcastle. Like, the downside to the sandcastle is it doesn't match the sand, but when does anything match the sand? Let's see here.
Here we go. Okay, what was that again? Sandcastle. Got a sandcastle right here. Does anyone remember that song, Sandcastles in the Sky? I would sing it, but I kind of don't want to sing right now. <laughs> yeah, and copyright. My husband just reminded me there's copyright. <laughs> right. Uh, I, I, I'm probably going to listen to it later, and it's probably going to be stuck in my head for a good, like, let's be real here. It's probably going to be stuck in my head for about a week. Because every time I remember a random song, it's stuck in my head for about a week. And then I listen to it nonstop for about a month. Because I just kind of low-key obsess over music. Um, now let's see here. So these white tulips, they're not ready. They're not good to bloom. And I think I can put some glow moss here. Because I really like the glitteriness of the glow moss. So let's see here. What should I do? Get something out. the least amount of the item I need out. Oh, look. Cube's already using the thing. Key. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. Okay, actually, weeds make more sense around here. Let's get that. Let, let, let's drop off this glow moss. That looks weird, but it is what it is. I wish I had seaweed. Like, that would make sense. There we go. That's the one I wanted. If anyone knows, this is the most annoying part of Animal Crossing. Is trying to get it to plant the right type of weeds up. <laughs> you gotta pick it up, plant it. Pick it up, plant it. Just to get the ones that you want on the ground. Especially... Oh, especially when you play the beach decor with these beach weeds, because weeds don't grow. They don't keep growing. Yet. There we go. Yet they have so many different versions of themselves. Actually, that kind of evens things out a little bit. Let's add some over here. This is how I make my island look the way I do, you guys. I just spent about three hours going in circles and then finally going, okay, I have a concept, I have an idea, let's see how it plays out, and then I just go with it. It's a lot of time spent. Um, and if anyone's ever curious on how I find the time, I just learned to make time, um, prioritizing getting stuff done first. Sometimes I do, unfortunately, prioritize this over getting things done, but in reality it's just because I really get distracted. Once I start on something, I like to finish it all the way through, which is exactly why I tend to be a time traveler because I like to get things done quickly so I don't have to try to remember it later. Or in this instance, so I don't go too, too big into details where I'm trying to get blades of grass to show up <laughs> on my beach. Uh, but okay. I think we're good with that. Now let's go and... Yes, we're been done building for now. Commencing. Seems like Cube and Static really like this part of my island. Already. I 
feel like I'm gonna have to put some lights there. Hi Marshall, you and your suit. Alright you guys, are you ready to go see Harvey's island? I've completed his island because I'm a completionist. <laughs> but let's go. Yes, I would like to fly. I want to visit Harvey's Island. Yes, Harvey's. Oh, it's 13.30. Yup. You guys, I really love Wilbur. Like, Wilbur's cool. Um, <laughs> touchdown, like growing vegetables in a blue crayon. We are parked and proud. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? What does it mean to try to grow? Or am I misspelled? Is that crayon? Crayon? Yeah, okay, good. It's not canyon. Canyon has an end before the yawn. <laughs> so let's see here. Give a quack to wing back. Yeah, sometimes you speak in words that don't make sense, my dude. I'm so happy Harv's little girlfriend has moved here, Harriet. I really love Harriet, you guys. She reminds me of a neighbor I used to have. I nicknamed her Miss Louisiana because she was just so sweet. So sweet. Like, is this is when my husband and I first got married. Like, we were we were babies still in our marriage. Still learning stuff and she she was pretty awesome. Like she showed us what it meant to be neighborly without being invasive. She was you know, she would talk to us, she'd check in on us. But she wasn't kind of, she wasn't that neighbor that was like all up in our business, you know? She would just be like, hey, hey you guys, if you guys want some fried chicken, let me know. I'll make it for you. Or, yeah, just give me the chicken. Or if you guys want me to cook you something, just give it to me and I'll make it for you. I would love to make you guys some food. Or if you guys need help with anything, let me know. And she was that kind of neighbor, like super sweet. She, the reason why we called her Miss Louisiana was literally because she told us at one point she used to live there and she had the sweetest Southern accent, like having lived in Texas in a while, that, that was something different. Like, I know the South gets a lot of slack, especially in today's climate, <laughs> uh, but in all honesty, I, I love I love the South in the way that one loves the way the mannerisms are supposed to be, right? Like, the South is one of those places that the right people are the reason why people keep going back. The right people of the considerateness, the kindness. Oh, am I getting lag here? Oh no, you guys, I'm sorry. I was unaware. I, I'm not seeing my moderator comment too much, so I'm not sure what's going on. But my husband's telling me there's a lot of lag here. Let me know if it's catching up or is it because I've... I do know we just had a family member. Well, let's see here. We just had a family member leave the house, so there might be more internet in a second because they've disconnected their phone from the Wi-Fi. So sometimes that happens, you know. We're lucky we don't have any Apple phone users because, let's be real, Apple's drain the internet a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but Miss Louisiana, the South, yeah, just... You guys, there's people that are kind. But 
let's go ahead and wrap this up in a second. Let's see here. What's a good candy machine color, you guys? Should I do red? Or yellow? Let's do red. I feel like it works better with Nook's Cranny, the red. Oop, and now my audio is starting to cut in and out on my side, you guys. So we're going to wrap this up by going back to the island. We're going to go ahead and place the things down. And we're just going to wrap up for the day. My voice is getting funny because I've probably been talking more than I should. And it looks like we're creeping up on three hours of stream. I do appreciate anyone and everyone that has stopped by. And if you're catching this post stream, I appreciate you coming in and watching this and tolerating the technical difficulties in between it all. I will be streaming more. I will do what I can to boost up what I can to fix the stream a bit, spruce it up. I'm still learning this whole OBS, but you know, with everything, it's a learning experience. Can't get mad or frustrated. Growing's the whole point. So if there's one thing that's taken away from today is definitely don't get frustrated. <laughs> Just keep going because overall you're going to have fun. The whole point is to enjoy what you're doing. And I'm enjoying what I'm doing right now. I'm enjoying being able to play this game and being able to share it with y'all here on stream. And if anything, <laughs> I just at least have on YouTube a bunch of recordings of me playing Animal Crossing and just being myself and that's all I care about honestly is being able to share this with those that have always been interested in how is it that I make my island the way I do and this is how I do it you guys I just play and try to use the little bit of creativity I have <laughs> left of course in this island because in all honesty, this has been the biggest outlet I've had in a few years since this is just something I like doing. And let's see here. We got everything set in place. The only thing left is literally the next cranny. But let's see here. Ah, this is perfect, you guys. Look at this. So... We got the corner of the beach here. And this is what we see. I love it. You guys, this is going to be awesome when everything is officially up and put in and set up. I'm looking forward to the nooks moving in their new little locale with all this decorated for them. And with this, we're going to go ahead and end the stream. I really appreciate anyone and